Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSERV. BIMSERV provides comprehensive BIM and CAD outsourcing services, supporting clients through all stages, from concept to construction. BIMSERV integrates with your design process to form a virtual studio. BIMSERV delivers entire suite of services, from Revit modeling and detailing, to clash detection, quantity takeoff, and 5D modeling. In this tutorial, we learn how to model a butterfly roof in Revit. A butterfly roof is a roof with two sloping surfaces that rises from a valley to the eaves to form a V-shape. It resembles the wings of a butterfly and is rarely seen in areas that get snowfall. Now let's start by switching to level 2 from the project browser since the base of the roof starts from this level. Now, here in the build panel, click on this roof drop down. From the list of different ways to make a roof, I'll select roof by footprint for now. Before I start, notice in the options bar, I can see that the defined slope checkbox is checked. Overhang size has not been defined yet and extend to wall core checkbox is unchecked. So let's change the overhang to 2 feet and keep the rest as default. Now, from the draw panel, let's select pick walls. I'm going to pick two opposing walls in which I want the sloping roofs to rest. So let's click here on this wall and then on this one. Before we select the remaining two walls, uncheck the define slope checkbox and then select the remaining two walls one after the other. Notice that these two edges don't have a slope sign next to them indicating that they are not sloped and the walls join automatically to form a closed loop. Now, let's change the slope angle since we are making a butterfly roof. In a butterfly roof, the angle should either be more than 90 degrees or in a negative value. This is necessary to remember since the slopes need to form a V shape with a middle value. Negative slope value will ensure that. Now, just click on this sloping edge here, the slope angle is shown. You can change it here itself by clicking on it. Let's change it to minus 20 degrees for now. Do the same thing for the opposite one as well. Once done, click to finish making the roof. This dialog tells me whether I want to join the walls to the roof. I am going to select yes for now. Now switch to 3D view. Now let's cut a section to understand the roof better. So I'm going to cut a section right here in the middle. Then go to the section view and select the roof. Notice how the valley is formed and why it would be a bad design for places that get snowfall as I had mentioned before since the snow would just increase the dead load. So this way, my roof is made and you can experiment more with different settings and this ends the tutorial on butterfly roof.